Hello guys, it is Cameron back once again for another episode of Top Trending Products and on this episode we're going to be talking about the top 5 drones of 2016. Now if you're interested in checking out any of these drones and maybe purchasing one of them, visit the links in the description down below. I'll have links to every single item mentioned in this video so check down there if you're interested in buying one of these or just maybe checking it out further. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like rating on the video but let's go ahead and jump right into this top 5 list. Alright, coming in at number 5 on our list is the newly released release DJI Mavic Pro. Now this is a super hyped up drone. You've probably seen it in Casey Neistat's videos, but this drone is all about being portable, durable, and providing you with the best video quality possible. It does shoot in a 4K resolution, which is going to be great for videos, um, but what it offers that it kind of sets it apart is the small form factor. Um, it's such a small device, you're able to just compact it up and put it in a backpack and carry it with you. It's much less bulky than the other DJI products like the Phantom 4, um, but it offers very very similar video quality which is something that they're really shooting for. Now this drone retails for $999. You can find it on their website or on Amazon. Um one of the main things that I really like is it comes with a new um, fixed standalone controller that lets you plug in your iPhone directly into this controller. I think it's a lot better than the previous controller that they did have to offer. Um, and with that 4K uh, quality, you're going to get amazing video quality out of this drone as well. Now, I don't particularly like the saturation on this drone. I think it oversaturates just a slight bit, so that kind of knocked it down for me a little bit. But overall, this is a newly released drone, so they are going to be fixing some bugs with this. But I think that this is definitely going to be one of the best drones, you know, in the coming years because uh, it's small form factor and also the video quality that it outputs. All right, coming in at number four is the GoPro Karma. Now, this may be a controversial decision putting this over the uh, Mavic, but I do think that this drone is better overall, in my opinion. Um, now, what I'm considering when I add this drone to my number four spot is that you're going to have the Hero 5 Black Edition camera on this drone, which outputs 4K, and the quality looks amazing. Now, with the Hero 5 Black Edition, it's going to run you at $1,099 for this drone and the camera. If you were to just buy it by itself, it comes in at $7.99. So there is a big jump in price, um, but you do have the option to choose the GoPro Session, the new one that they just came out with, and that will run you at $1,000, which puts you right at the DJI Mavic spot. Now, this camera and GoPro has amazing quality. I'm telling you, this drone looks great when it's in the air, um, and the coolest thing to me, in my opinion, about this drone is the controller that it has. It does have a very nice standalone controller that lets you control the drone. This means you don't have to plug up your iPhone or your iPad and I think that's great in my opinion just because I like to have a standalone controller. Another option that really adds to the value of this drone is the ability to pull off the camera gimbal and use it as a standalone stabilizer. So what this means is you can just carry around your GoPro with the stabilizer and it does the same thing that it would do while it's attached to the drone. So it's just another aspect that kind of sets it apart and makes it just a slight bit better than the uh, Mavic in my opinion. It does also, like I said, shoot 4K quality and I think overall the colors and the grading you know, built right into the camera is better on the GoPro um, Karma. So it is just a little bit better in my opinion than the DJI Mavic. Coming in at the number three spot is probably the most popular drone on the market nowadays, and that is the DJI Phantom 4. Now, you've probably seen this in tons of vlogger videos and just YouTube videos in general because this drone has been around for quite some time and is loved by many, many people. Um, now, it does shoot in 4K resolution, and I will say that the quality output of this is amazing. Uh, when you see videos sh shot with the DJI Phantom 4, you can definitely tell because the quality is exceptional, and it just looks good, functions good, and DJI offers great support so you know this drone is going to be reliable and if something goes wrong they'll definitely help you out. Um, now this drone retails on Amazon for about a thousand dollars. You can find it for around a thousand dollars and you really cannot go wrong with this drone. Um, like I said it's one of the most popular so it has a lot of support, a lot of you know accessories so like bags and stuff built for it already and really it's probably one of the most reliable solid drones on the market. All right, coming in at the number two spot, just barely making the runner-up spot, is the Unique Typhoon X, which is a drone that I don't really see too much information about, but overall is a very solid drone that produces great video quality. Now, it does shoot in 4K resolution. It's very comparable to the DJI Inspire 1 um, because the price is very expensive on this drone, but it does shoot great video quality overall. One of the things that they kind of brag about and it sets it apart is that it does have Intel's RealSense technology, which helps 
which helps with faster processing and faster sensory input. So whenever you're controlling this drone, you're going to get the fastest input possible. So whenever you make, you know, a movement or something like that, the drone, you know, reacts with zero latency and very quickly compared to a lot of other drones. Uh, another thing that kind of sets it apart, it does have six propellers, and this is for better overall control of the drone, better stabilization. I'm not sure how much better it is than the other drones like the DJI Phantom 4 or the Inspire 1, but it does offer six propellers. Now, one of the main things that I really like about this drone is the standalone controller that has a seven inch screen. So you're gonna get a big screen real estate to work with whenever you're controlling this drone. And you can really set up great shots with this and be able to see exactly what you're gonna be recording. The video quality, like I said, is amazing. And the output is very comparable to that of the uh, Inspire 1, but the price point is also expensive and this drone comes in around between $1,500 and $2,000. So it is an expensive drone, um, but it is overall just a quality, quality device. Now finally coming in at the number one spot is the DJI Inspire 1. This is overall the best drone in my opinion. It is also the most expensive drone coming in at $2,000, but I think that the quality that it outputs is fantastic. It's definitely the best quality on any of the drones listed in this video. Um, the video is crystal clear, really, really good, great stabilization. And I think it also has the best stabilization because the drone is a little bit heavier, but I think that that just means that it's better quality. So the material that it's made out of is just very robust and it's a very durable looking drone. Um, I think it's a little bit better made than the DJI Phantom 4 and I think the stabilization that it outputs is a little bit better as well. Now, one thing that I wish this had is a standalone remote. All you're gonna get is the regular, uh, typical controller you're gonna get with the Phantom 4. So nothing different there. I do wish they had some type of bigger controller where you could see, you know, with a seven inch screen like the uh, Unique Typhoon. But I do think that overall, this has the best video quality and that's probably the highest category in my opinion that I look at. So overall video quality wise, this has the best and I think that overall it's just the best well-made drone uh, on the market right now and is you know ideal for professionals and people that are really looking for amazing quality to use you know in serious videos. Um, so this might not be for the average everyday user but I do think overall this is a very professional drone that is going to provide the best video quality possible. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this top 5 list of the best drones of 2016. This list was subjective, so it is my personal opinion, whatever I think is the best drones. You might differ, and if you do, let me know in the comment section down below what you would have put at which spot and why. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for any future lists, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below, and if I use it, I will shout you out. Uh, make sure that you get recognition for suggesting the video. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like rating on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. See ya.